Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we have got an exciting one to film. Yes, I have the new Revolution in real life filter foundation. I am super excited to be testing this out. Um, yeah, I got this from Superdrug. I don't believe it's out on the website as of yet, but they've been teasing it for a while now and it's just like, I've been wanting it. Anyway, I went to my local Superdrug and I found it and I thought we'd sit down and test it together so I am super excited. I don't know much about this foundation, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know what its claims are. All I know is what it says on the bottle which is a long wear foundation, breathable, soft, matte, um, it's oil free and 16 hour wear. That is pretty much all it says on the bottle pretty much um so this is £9.99 in Superdrug I'm pretty sure it'll be the same on the Revolution Beauty website whenever they do launch it on there um but yeah this is the foundation this is the bottle I really quite like it it's very like luxurious it's like a it's like a air frosted glass kind of bottle and then it's got that on it it's really quite nice and it does have a pump as well so I do really like that um, I'm guessing all the foundation shades are pretty much the same across the board. So I'm always F1 in every single one of their foundations. So I picked up obviously F1. Um, so we're going to be testing this out today. I am super excited. So let's jump straight on into it. Okay, so I've just taken the lid off. I, I like it. I like it. Oh, I need to prime first. So my favourite primer at the minute that I've been using is the Real Love by Revolution Pore Vanish Primer. So I'm going to go in with this just because I know it works with a lot of my foundations. Let me just clean up my under eyes first, make sure there's no bits of <laughs> eyeshadow because um, yeah that's what tends to happen with me. I just tend to get eyeshadow everywhere. Um, So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the primer first. I'm excited for this foundation. I'm also really sorry if you can hear any seagulls. I don't think you should be able to, but I've got my window open because it is warm. And as you can see, it's sunny behind me. So yeah, put this on. I really like this primer. Probably one of my favourite primers and it's like a fiver. So yeah, I absolutely love their matte base foundation. So I'm excited to see what I think about this one. I do also like their original Conceal and Define foundation. Um, and their Conceal and Glow. I didn't like the Conceal and Hydrate, but that's just me. Um, so I'm just gonna pop some, a couple on my beauty sponge. This is a cleanish beauty sponge, just so you guys know. It, I've only used it once, but it's just stained. Yeah. Okay, I've forgotten how many pumps I did then. I think it's like two. And um, that's how much we've, we've got. Oh my gosh, I think it's all cost quite a lot. We start to blend it in. I mean, look at that coverage. Oh my gosh. I would say that this is a, is a true F1 shade, if that kind of makes sense. I'm guessing all the other shades will be similar. I would say that is like a medium to full coverage. Like I feel like it's covered absolutely everything. Um, so yeah. Um, that is insane. Like I said, I don't know what the claims it has. I've seen it. I've just seen it like on their story and stuff so yeah like I'm not not too sure what the other claims kind of are but I am not mad I mean look at that like oh if you're wanting like a lightweight kind of coverage I don't think you know like a lightweight natural coverage this will not be for you because like I would say that this is like medium to full coverage or like at least medium buildable coverage. I might have gone in with an extra pump. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh 
uh yeah look at that i mean it has covered everything i would definitely agree that it is a soft matte finish um as you can see it's not completely like there's still like a slight shine there um so yeah not completely matte but yeah i'll zoom you guys in so you can have a little look so this is what we're looking like obviously i haven't done my concealers so i've just left that bit there but yeah like it's there's nothing there i mean to be fair i didn't have any red i didn't have much redness anyway um so it's just given me a complete like blank canvas i mean it is really nice it's not it doesn't look cakey anywhere it hasn't clung to any patches it yeah it's just given me like a really nice base i um i'm not mad at that i am not mad okay 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 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna do my concealer um so we'll do that together just so you guys can see what it's kind of like like how other products are working on top of it kind of thing because that's another thing okay so for the purpose of this video i'm going to use the conceal and divine concealer because it's you know it's a classic it's a classic um i've just got mine in the shade c1 don't really want to go too bright underneath my eyes today I just I just don't not really feeling it so yeah i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't even think that i need it anywhere else <laughs> um so we'll just blend this out so far i'm actually liking this foundation like i'm a big i'm a big 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 matte lover like i just love i mean i like dewy things but i'm will always be like a lover of matte i tend to go more for matte foundations and things like that um But I like soft matte as well. I feel like soft matte can be, you know, not as drying on the skin and whatnot. I mean, that's, yeah. I am not mad at that. Oh my goodness. Yes. It's blended nicely on top of it. My base is like, like there's everything is covered what i what I covered um I, yeah i'm not really too sure what to kind of say about it to be honest with you like i don't really know what kind of ingredients are in there that kind of thing but i feel like it's very nice i particularly i'm more on the dry side um so i feel like yeah because it is oil free as well i feel like it'll be really nice for oily skin um, but I also feel like because it is a soft matte, it's not going to be too mattifying. So I feel like you'll still be able to use it if you do have dry skin. Like I said, I'm more like normal slash dry more than oil. Like I'm definitely not oily. Um, so yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just pop the rest of my base on. Um, and then I'll be back to kind of give you guys my final thoughts because I don't really know what else to say about it as of right now other than I like it So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay guys that I am back I've just finished the rest of my base off camera. I am loving this foundation. I think it looks beautiful Um, so I did also apply like a cream block bronzer and a clean a cream blush and I feel like it's that like blended in and sat beautifully on top of it honestly, I am I like this. I do like this. Look, it has creased a little bit around here, but like honestly, I didn't properly set it down. Um, I literally just set down like around my eyes and stuff. So yeah, I'm not like overly bothered about that. And I've also been talking and stuff like that. So I am not mad at this. I like this. I like it a lot. This is just such a nice foundation. It's such a nice foundation. I do feel like it is like a medium buildable coverage. I might have put a bit too much on myself when I did apply it, but I am really enjoying this. Um, if you guys want me to do another video and do like a full wear test, I will do, but it is currently like half five now at, in the evening. So I'm not gonna be able to do a full wear test. But if you do want me to do another video and, you know, do like a full base of revolution and wear this and do a wear test of course i can do that for you guys just let me know but honestly i am living like my skin 
it looks so good. It looks so good. I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. I feel like it just looks so nice. I mean, obviously, you can tell I've got foundation on. My base looks flawless. I'm obsessed. Like, I really like this foundation. I really like it. It's probably going to be, like, a new fave for me. So, yeah. Um, I feel like if you do like buildable, like, medium buildable to full coverage foundations that's not super dewy, that's more on, like, the matte side but not too mattifying, this is going to be the one for you. It's also great because it is oil-free. So, if you do have oily skin, you'll probably really like this as well. Um, and I just feel like it just gives your ba- Honestly, my makeup looks insane. My face looks flawless. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to test this out. Like I said, if you do want me to do another video and do a full like wear test, like a full on, like a full day kind of wear test where I'm like, where I'm like basically either going out or I've put it on in the morning and then I've been out and then I come home kind of thing. If you want me to do like a full wear test, of course I can do that for you guys. Um, but yeah, so far I'm impressed and I really like this. So whenever it does launch, I'll try and remember to link it in my description box. Um, but so far I've only found it in my local Superdrug actually in store. It's not, I don't believe it's on the Superdrug website as of yet. And it's definitely not on the Revolution Beauty website. So yeah, when it is out, I will link it in my description box or I will link it as well on my Instagram stories. Um, but I am living for this. Definitely grab it when it does launch or if, if you find it in your local Superdrug, definitely pick it up. I am living for it. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really helped me out. Everything else that I'm wearing on my face will of course link in the description box down below as always. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!